Oh my goodness. It's another repentance run. <laughs> we got uh, Neptunus. Okay, that's not too bad. Magic skin. Uh, I'm not too willing to use that right now, but maybe we can do that a little bit later. Uh, I did actually yesterday take a little bit of a break because, well, uh, it was Father's Day. I just kind of wanted to chill out. So hopefully you all understand. And with this explosive barrel, could you please get over there? I don't know why it doesn't want to go over here. Just kept getting on that rock. But hope everybody had a decent weekend and had some fun times. I actually had a pretty good time spending some time with the uh, the family and all that. Uh, sure, we can take Bloody Lust. I don't really particularly like the item because, well, you have to take damage in order to use it. But, uh, which is something I don't really like doing, but I guess it's like some way of getting away from, uh, or have some form of retaliatory damage increase. Aha, you're not going to get me with that super leap. Not today, not today. I'm, I'm, just, I'm well rested and overcharged for, for you today here, Mr. Leapin. But, uh, let's start with, let's talk about our stats here since we're doing an Eden run. Uh, 1.01 movement speed. I mean, technically we're over, but I guess our movement speed is fine to start off here. Our damage is actually pretty good as well, especially since we have Neptunus. Definitely going to need a tears rate increase. So that way this charge function goes a little bit quicker and hopefully we can also find some uh red heart hp so that way we can use Ooh, birthright would be amazing i would actually like the other soul heart here as well and it looks like we're gonna be able to get it all okay and flying as well as the first start whoo man it feels almost like my birthday maybe i should take breaks more often <laughs> uh, but nah, no, 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 I'm not going to be doing that at all. Well, not really at all. I did kind of need the break a little bit. Uh, but I think maybe going forward, I probably won't do a video on Sunday. You know, just because. Just or I could just, you know, pre-record a video and then upload it and, you know, do all that. And, you know, not be a baby and still do the daily uploads and all that. But we'll reach, I'll cross that bridge when we get there. But Neptunus is definitely a lot of fun. There are some pretty cool synergies with Neptunus, considering it has a charge function. Uh, I don't really know them all. I mean, I guess that's a question I can ask you, if anyone's new here watching or, you know, returning viewers. What is your favorite Neptunus synergy? That's something that's probably got to let you think a little bit, because, you know, you don't really see Neptunus all that often. It's a good item. I like it. You just have to charge and then focus about dodging. Like, oh, you can't catch me, monster. You can't catch me. Ooh, I'm over here. I'm over here. And then just, like, unload on him when he's like, oh, I'm going to get you. Spew out my, my garbage. Here's my Twitter take. You know, something like that. And then you just, you know, come back. Here's my rebuttal. It's a lot better. I did my research. Google, idiot. And uh, before you know it, the, the fight's over. That's the power of Neptunus. And we do actually get a tears up increase. Oh boy. As you can see right there, get a little bit faster charge. And with that, I think we might as well go down to the next floor. I mean, we should, honestly, since we have flying, do a full clear here. Uh, but with the starting position of the magic skin that we have here, we do kind of want to try to get red heart HP. So that way we can go into things like, like the devil deal. like Or we could possibly go angel deals as well. Or, you know, inside the curse room over there, because you can also get double deal items out of there. And then, you know, swap a red heart HP container instead of, I think it's two soul hearts. I'd rather swap the red heart HP than the soul hearts, because it's easier to get red hearts and soul hearts. But poor Eden here, starting with Neptunus, is making him, making him, honestly, I thought I had made a mistake, mistake and started with, like, uh, Blue Baby or something, because, well, you know, he's blue. <laughs> Uh, for a second there, I was like, uh, did I pick the right character? I didn't really feel like playing Blue Baby today, but hey, maybe in the future. Or even Tainted Blue Baby. Tainted Blue Baby is actually a lot of fun. I haven't, haven't really played too much of him. Uh, or really too much of Isaac in general. Well, Isaac as well, because, you know, Isaac is a character in this game. But, uh, I do have a little bit of a story over the weekend. Had a... Ooh, balls of steel and another tears up. Oh my goodness, this run it basically has everything. Uh, but yeah, had a. We were gonna do a bonfire of some sorts, but it kind of got a little late and people didn't really feel all that up to it, so we ended up not doing that. 
Uh, we just had a Crooked Penny run, so I think I'm going to go with Loki's Horn. This does make it so that way we can't really pick like things like Ipecac. But, you know what? I'm fine with not taking Ipecac today. Give me that other Soul Heart. And, yeah. One of the things that we ended up doing was actually having a relatively decent meal. I mean, it was a little better than normal. I had some homemade mac and cheese with a bunch of different uh, cheeses inside of it. I can't even... Can't even tell you all the different cheeses. And then we had, uh, you know, because of people's allergies, we had several different versions of burgers and whatnot. Because we had, like, some people are more, well, they have the allergies so they can only really eat, like, plant-based stuff. Kind of like forced veganism. Ooh, that warfly there exploding up uh, King uh, Dookie there. And I will take the screw. I will take a peek inside the double deal, but if it's not a top tier premium item, I'm not going to take it. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And with that, I think I'll just go... Yeah, let's go Let's go all path. We haven't done that in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, people with their allergies can only really eat like plant-based stuff. And we had chickpea burgers. We also had like some turkey burgers, which are re relatively good in of themselves. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Warfly. I completely forgot about you. Typically, I would, uh, you know, be talking about the Warfly and how you have to be somewhat commish, not commish, conscious. Blech, words, how do they even work? And, you know, t keep your distance from things and you'll be relatively fine. Which is true. That's just, I completely forgot that I even had it. But anyway, back to the burger story. Uh, turkey burgers, which are relatively good for the most part. Not everybody likes them. I think they're okay. Uh, and then we also had some 100% uh, grass-fed, like basically all natural, no hormone, all that, all that eco jazz uh, beef burgers. And I gotta tell you what, they, are, you can definitely taste the difference between a all grass delicious burger. Compared to like what you would normally get, because there there is something going on there. Like you have you have all the different antibiotics and hormones that are being pumped into these these animals, and they just they just don't taste good, man. And when you compare it to the actual, one, it's like the beefiness flavor of it is it's different. I don't know if anyone else can uh, attest to this or themselves. Excuse moi, we do need a key, a singular yabe, please, game. If you don't mind uh, if anyone else can attest to like you know when you get something that's like uh, basically an all-natural version of what it is it's supposed to be you know very very different give me that extra penny and we do have a key oh boy maybe we should go into the shop instead now nah, I'm gonna go into the item room mystery item and it's PhD oh boy Give us a luck upgrade. I'm feeling lucky today. This run just... It has everything. I mean, we could use... Maybe some more damage. Or some form of tier effect. That would be nice. Along with uh, higher luck as well. I'm not asking much, game. Just everything. Is that too much to ask? But yeah, it's definitely, definitely getting animals where... It, uh, or getting foods to eat in the way that they're supposed to be grown without like a bunch of chemical interference i know people say it's like oh there's there's no difference you can't tell the difference like buddy as somebody who really loves their meat uh don't take that out of context at all uh <laughs> i can tell you that there is 100 percent of difference the the beefiness and just the, the the difference in burger quality is is astonishing it it's the beefiness flavor like the taste of beef it's not... Hmm. How do I explain it? It's, it's hard to tell. Or it's hard to explain without actually, you know, you know, eating it yourself. The, the flavor is not as prevalent there, but it tastes good. Ooh, almost got me there. It's not as overpowering. It's like it's complimentary. Like there's other flavors to the meat itself other than just, you know, oh, it's beef. It's a compliment to it. It's like it's like having a really good steak without putting any seasonings on it. You can just taste it and appreciate it for what it is. Uh, chewed pen wouldn't be bad, but I'm going to stick with the warflies. 
Because, you know, that little bit of extra damage is definitely going to help quite a bit. And with that, I think we'll just go to the next floor. Man, we're just we're just rocking through here today. Uh, we do need to go use the ghosty form and go into the curse room on the regular dimension here. One thing I love doing is so that way you can avoid damage on your soul hearts or, you know, just wasted HP in general. Where was it again? Was it over here? One more little bout and then we're off, off to the next floor. But what's a food that you've eaten that just does not taste the same from the store? Blood puppy. I'd rather have little horn. Thank you very much. I mean, you're cute and all, but... Ah, fine. You can come along. Your little smile convinced me. Look at him. He's so happy. Cutie. But uh, generally, Blood puppy is a little more of a menace than uh, really... Uh, he's more of a hindrance than a help. Just because he turns evil. And he's actually relatively difficult to... If you don't have the damage or means to get rid of him, then he can be a little difficult to uh, tame back. He gets bloodthirsty. But, picking us off here, Little Horn. I did actually use Magic Skin because we had gotten that HP upgrades. Which is all... Oh yeah, bleh, all A-OK -okay by me. And, uh, what we got out of it was Little Horn, which every so often you'll see that glowing tier, which means that if that hits an enemy, it will immediately, if it's not a boss or mini boss, will immediately execute said enemy, including turrets. So if you ever have an issue with turrets, you can just wait until you get a Little Horn proc and then, you know, delete it. Excuse me, bomb fly. You were voted by the subscribers, by subscribers, I mean one person mentioned you, as the most huggable mob in the game if you weren't so explosive, but uh, that does not mean I'm going to give you a hug myself. So you're going to have to stay clear over there as per the TSA rules. Clearly indicate. you got to stay at least uh, five feet away from any explosive device. A bare minimum, I would have to say. Just a general health and safety tip. Yeah. And we're just going to continue on here. Ooh, that Warfly almost caught me. Teleport 2.0. We're not going to want to get rid of uh, Magic Skin at any point. Uh, not because I want to use it more often, but because... Well, I could use it more often. But because uh, if we get rid of it now, then there's a possibility... Ooh, almost got me with that, that shot there. There is a possibility that it will show back up from any pedestal in the game. And there you go. You see Little Horn in active. Uh, Little Horn actually also does... Uh, no way, I'm thinking of Euthanasia. Never mind, never mind, never mind. It does activate against bosses, which is really, really good. Uh-oh, he's angry. We took our first bit of damage in a very long time. But I think we can uh, get through this. Get out of here. Wait, does... Will Little Horn proc on... Blood Puppy? Maybe that'll be a means of getting rid of, or uh, not getting rid of, but taming him. It doesn't look like it does. Uh oh. Stinky? Get out of here. He he's angry. Back. I'm going to deal with him before I go into the double deal because I don't want to be like fighting Krampus and Blood Puppy. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Lusty Blood is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. However, I do like me Ocular Rift more. And I think I'm going to leave everything in there because I like my HP. And you know what, with that, I think we're done with this floor. What else would would you have done on this floor? Mm, probably a full clear, in my opinion. Maybe look for the secret room and super secret rooms. That's about it. We still need to increase our fire rate. As you can see here, I'll show Come on, Little Horn. Let's wait. Little Horn will take our turrets, as you can see right there. Just as an example. Uh, I don't want to go into the curse room. Not right now. Maybe later. Uh, but I do really love Ocular Rift. As you can see right there, sucking all the enemies together. And then, on top of that, also uh, getting a Little Horn proc. Just It's just massive damage. And it's pretty good room clear. Uh, it's the same concept as uh, the... Uh, the war flies you gotta take care of your positioning and with uh 
Loki's horn here is actually a little bit of a hindrance to us because if we get a portal, like a like a rift portal behind us, then enemies and tears will also be sucked into said portal. So mind your positioning. That's one thing you definitely need to learn in this game is uh, how to move around and, well, more of a learning thing for anyone that's new or wanting to get better. You definitely want to try to move around as much as possible and try to stay away from enemies. Even though that kind of goes against my own playstyle. Uh, for any of you that are new here and that have made it this far, thank you for tuning in. I hope you stick around for as long as uh, I'm entertaining and as long as you enjoy yourselves. Hope it's uh, a little longer than this singular video here. But uh, definitely one of those tips is just move around as I take a bunch of damage. Got a golden key and a bursting sack. That's pretty good. Pretty dang good. Making it so that way and get ourselves another golden key. It's really useless because we already had one. Uh, you know, wow. That, that Isaac head just kind of went straight to us. But uh, what was I saying? I forgot what I was going to say. So I think I will just move on here. Buy this. Do that. I'm probably going to leave Alabaster's box there. Not really my favorite item. You know, you have to sacrifice so much to put into it. And then you don't really get all that much out of it. In my opinion. Uh, where would the secret room be? Can't be either there. Is it? No, can't be either those. Uh, could it be in this elbow? There's a chance it could be. No. It's over here. 100%. Nope. Never mind. Well, I'm just going to go to the boss and hopefully go to the next floor. <laughs> uh. I wonder who it's going to be. It's going to be Gish. Okay. Not too bad. And there's the Ocularus proc that ended up getting me hit. Oh, well, hopefully we end up getting a Devil Deal here and actually get some HP out of it. Like, it's through something like a Ceremonial Robe. Ceremonial Robes wouldn't be bad. Uh, Abaddon wouldn't be bad either because that gives us a couple of Soul Hearts as well. Or should I say Demon Hearts. And we just get those. Okay, well, with that, I'm just going to go down to the next floor. <laughs> uh, unfortunate that there was nothing in there but Beggars. But hey, that's that's how the game be sometimes. You can't hate the player, hate the game. Well, you can actually hate both. Because if it's like a dirty player, and or they're uh, they're not very fair, but you can also hate the game. It's like it's like hating golf, hating golf, and then uh, also hating you know a specific player that's in golf because he's super smug or something. You know, there there's certain certain. Hmm, sayings, phrases, however you want to put it, that just don't make sense. Like, don't judge a book by its cover. It's like, well, that's the point of the cover, is to judge the book on whether or not you want to read it or not. Including also the title. It's like, though, that, that's, that, those are important measurements. Are you kidding me? That was not Akira's fault. That was actually, I think, Blood Puppy pushing the, uh, the dingle into the, uh, into us. You know what? If I get Sack Alter, you're going, Blood Puppy. I'm going to have to put you up into the shelter. Give give PETA a call. Uh, so I think tears, tears aren't bad. We, we no longer need to use bombs to find the secret room or super secret rooms. Which, if I do find... It's right here. Yeah. There we go. Uh, Do I use a bomb to get a nickel? Sure. I do have a full card. Honestly, we should probably go fight mother and then, or mom, and then go and uh, finish this room out. Which I think I will actually do the little move here of using sulfuric acid to actually go through all these doors and try to find the boss here. Excuse me, sir. Oh, you. That fly exploded before the, the freaking host helmet even got up. I'm slightly upset at that. 
Stay away from me. Blood puppy, protect. Go. As long as you don't get angry. Ah, he's angry. No. I didn't even see the Isaac head there. Well, this isn't going to be dangerous at all. What was that? Game? Are you drunk? Hello? I probably should have picked the... Uh, tractor beam would be nice. I probably should have picked up the Polaroid. Uh, Monique's power is good, but I don't think it's going to be as good as tractor beam. I'm not going to do... I am not going to do boss rush with the HP that we have. No, it's, that's just not happening. Oh, that is unfortunate that we got hit there. D did you see mom's foot come down and then push blood puppy backwards as blood puppy was charging into us, even though we were standing still? It's like that. That's ridiculous, man. What are these shots? I am losing my mind. <laughs> oh, Isaac do be like that sometimes. No bloat. I'm not 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 today. He almost got me. Almost got me. With the uh the tears there. But since we have PhD, all these will be positive. So hopefully we can get a balls of steel pill. We did get a gulp, which swallowed our warfly here. And we did actually lose the lose the other the golden pill, but another one spawned, so I will go back inside there and uh, pick it back up. And we did actually get a I think that was a balls of steel pill that we got. No, 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 it was a vert pill. Suicide King, we don't have any lives for that, so no, thank you. And we just want to find our last item room here. But with PhD and golden pills, that was actually a relatively lucky, lucky find. I'm, I'm glad that happened. Go ahead and use double our bombs. Uh, the sun card is good for the next floor. Don't really need the full card anymore. There really aren't any rooms that we're going to try to escape. You know what? I don't feel like dealing with these, uh, these purple flower flowers fires so i'm just gonna blow them all up even though they only shoot once like per entrance of a room and inside here is okay potato potato peeler is actually interesting if we had more red heart hp i definitely would go for it but i think that's about all we need what is this what makes you larger pill no uh, no thank you i probably would have bought it anyway i don't really like the the uh, the item description mod was showing that the pill was identified even though I hadn't bought it from the shop. Uh, but I would have bought it anyway because I knew that I had PhD. And lots of red heart HP. Okay, well, with that, I think we're going to be going to the next floor. We did about just about everything we could on here, so down we go. Maybe we can actually go to Hush. Hush wouldn't honestly be that bad because since we have Blood Puppy, he's not going to get enraged. Unless he starts killing like all the the hush flies and other Isaac heads, or not really Isaac heads, but Isaac thingamadobs. Ah, I kind of want to do open that golden chest, but not really. Thank you, game. Hey, look at that! We do actually get ourselves a greed fight here, which is okay. Uh, it's actually kind of good for us because we want money. Because, well, the hush fight does have another shop. And I do believe that the boss is going to be this way. Uh oh, he's angry again. Are you freaking kidding me? No, no. I'm st I don't agree with that game. When... I, I haven't been really been paying attention, but when Blood Puppy gets angry, does... Do my warflies that I'm spawning uh, target him? Also, one thing I haven't been doing is actually been looking for tinted rocks. A little bit of my mistake, but HP really hasn't been all that much of an issue this run. I mean, I do, I do realize that we went down to basically 1 HP, but it honestly hasn't been... We kind of immediately got it back thanks to a golden pill. 
If you if if you have seen any uh tinted rocks on this run, definitely let me know where they they ended up because I I have not seen them. Usually my eye kind of picks them right out, but maybe maybe the uh, the little break I did I I lost a little bit of skill here. Ooh, I was honestly really afraid I was gonna get hit there. The spikes are a little bit of a problem, and yes, little horn does also take care of said spikes. Uh, one thing I've been doing recently is actually doom scrolling, which is extremely dangerous. Uh, here on YouTube, uh, right below your your quote recommended tab, there's a uh, like a shorts tab, and minute long content. I'm I'm definitely feeling why people get addicted to that kind of stuff because it is it is very addictive to constantly be getting uh, entertainment that's curated straight for you. And, you know, I spent like five or six hours just watching videos, like one minute long videos. I'm like, how many of these did I watch? It was so bad that I was actually like, some of my friends were asking me to play a game. I was like, I don't want to play. I just want to keep watching these videos. Like, oh man, I do have a slightly addictive personality. Oh great, Blood Puppy's angry again. Get over there, get over there. Go Octa the Rift, yeah. Alright, Ocular Rift is actually helping us quite a bit. Matriarch. Ugh. Oh wait, this is a Curse XL. I didn't even notice. Wow. I I don't pay attention like at all. Go, Blood Puppy. Eat them. Chew on their ankles like an angry Chihuahua. One more grub, and we are done. Eh, more range ain't bad. Gives us a movement speed upgrade, which we kind of needed, but not really. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That stupid slow tier got in my way. But even with this HP that we have now, as long as we don't get hit again, I think we'll be fine. The fight, uh... Hush. And neither of those are good enough. I mean, I like Sack Dagger, but I kind of don't want to lose more HP. And I don't really want to use Magic Skin more. Because, again, I don't want to lose HP. Alright, let's see what we get from inside of here. BFF, wouldn't be bad. I'll definitely buy that. Buy that. I was hoping for a key. But you know what, game? I think that's good enough. Compound Fracture. Ooh. There's Tenet Rock right here. Alright. Well, with, since we have Sulfuric Tears, we can honestly f break every single rock down here. Maybe, maybe the level decide to spawn a crawl space. So hopefully we can prey on that. Ooh, euthanasia would be nice. Uh, euthanasia, as you can see right there, 3.33% chance to fire a needle. Needles, you know, will instantly burst any enemies. And against bosses, they deal three times damage. So I'm going to pick that up because we do need a little bit of damage. All right. And uh, not too much in the way of other stuff. Hmm. I guess I'll buy the bomb. We could use magic skin, but there's really no need to. Alright. Time to fight Hush. Hopefully this build can be okay. Getting a lot of the, the split shots. I don't know why those little horns were going to the side there. That was weird. Like, they were the, the ones that were smacking. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, hopefully, our our ability to spawn uh, Ocular Rift tiers continue. Because Ocular Rift is actually a really good uh, counter to Hush. Being able to suck all those tiers in. As long as you're continuously proccing it, it's not too bad. Otherwise, you'll get, like, waves of tiers. And you have to stay stay a little bit on your toes here. And also, you know, keep your positioning about you because you don't want to get in between the tiers and uh, your rift as well. Otherwise, you'll end up taking damage. But with a splash damage here, we should be able to uh, proc more of these, these uh, effects. And Blood Puppy, you need to chill out. Go after, go after the hush, please. 
There you go. Good boy. Good boy. I think I'll name you Princess. You know, every every super aggressive dog's name is always something cute, like Princess. Or a cupcake or something like that. And it's like the most like child eating monstrosity that you could ever imagine. <laughs> Hey, I don't know what's up with the game, but do you see all these smooth schmooze that it's making? I am not up for it. Not one bit. Uh, excuse me, blood puppy. I hesitated. I kind of want to get into a better position, like right here. Get out of here, blood puppy. Why are you bouncing all about? Okay, well, if I die here, then it was a good run. And, uh... I enjoyed everybody's... Compliments. And tuning in for today. And we did it, alright. No. Let Puppy stay over there. Uh... There we go. He's no longer Blood Puppy, he's Blood Dog. You can buy all this red heart HP. A little bit of a disaster losing losing all that. But we do have the sun card, which could be a kind of a savior for us. When we get down to these later floors. Since we already, you know, can see the map, we don't need the sun card for mapping. But we can use it for uh healing. And since we have money here, let's go ahead and play this out. And hopefully. Hey, look at that. We got some red HP. It's... <coughs> Excuse me. I had to sneeze. And I couldn't, uh... Unfortunately, could not mute myself in time. But I think I've been relatively good this entire run. I took, like, what? Maybe less than 20, 20 hits? That's, that's a lot lower than my average, I gotta tell you. Like, per run. I can see forever pill. Okay, that, that may come in handy. Or maybe not. Who knows? Hey, we did find it. All right. Let's see what's inside here. So come on, health. Oh, no, it was a greed fight. Or ultra greed. Which makes it not really all that important because money really isn't that much of a priority anymore. I mean, yeah, we could find a beggar somewhere, which I hope we do. Because that means there's a good possibility of finding uh, some form of HP. Uh, let's actually blow this up. Alright, well we have a half heart there, just in case we get knocked once in one of these rooms over here. Uh, and more red heart HP, that's good, that's good. Uh, it would be nice... Would be nice if we could somehow, like, find Dark Bum. Because then he could take all this red heart HP that we're dropping and actually... Ooh, a crawl space. And actually, you know, give us some form of uh, payout for it. Uh, tech 5. We need something a little better than tech 5. Pay to play is not good. <gasps> no! I can't believe I just rolled past Maggie's bow. That would have given us so much HP. Bone spurs? That's good. Game kid? No. Uh, pause? No. We can get something better. Uh, Multi-dimensional baby ain't bad. Like, like, look, we can keep him there and then shoot a bunch of bunch of tears through him. So maybe, uh, devil card. We could use this in the fight over here. They give ourselves a little more damage. Let's go over here. Since we have BFF. Ooh, baby, that's some serious damage there. Wow. Multi-dimensional baby is coming out clutch. Plus, euthanasia doing that three times damage. Ooh, man, we were just melting Satan there. Where, where was all this DPS hiding? Was it because we were using multi-dimensional baby plus the uh, double card as well on top of it? Who knows. Well, that's, that's why I always say the effects of... Oh, of course, we get Curse of the Blind, so we're not going to see what any of this is. So, goodbye. Uh, but yeah, definitely definitely seeing the effects of uh, different tier effects. 
which is the one reason why I really love tier effects because you never they, it can always be surprising you never know you get you know somewhere out of nowhere just start doing mass amounts of damage because of one item like if we had holy light right now that would be even more damage on top of it even though it technically isn't just you know a straight damage up let's continue I think the boss is gonna be down actually going to hold on to magic skin since we've used it once we don't want to see any more magic skins pop up and i'm already surprised that we have seen so many chests that we have like we saw what two three chests okay let's go back by get this half heart interval no thank you game i'm not going to deal with the uh, those mini men let's continue on here well i hope you enjoyed today's run it was actually slightly different than usual we did find the boss early so that's good but i hope you definitely do enjoy today's run i don't think there's any way that uh the lamb here can beat us especially since we have so many different effects and we also have a heal on top of it yeah we're just gonna be a-okay but i hope you enjoyed today's run i had a lot of fun and uh yeah, can't wait to, you know, get back to it. Took a break, re refreshed for the upcoming week. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed today's run, as I've said repeated like four times. But I will see you in the next one.